What's up guys, Grim here, and it's giveaway time guys. If you had left a comment in the comment section below my Saturday video, then you are entered into the chance to win whatever you want from the Rift Store. Yes, this is the first of 10 weeks of whatever you want from the Rift Store giveaways. And the winner of the first week is... Bam! Right there. Right there. Congratulations, sir. We will be sending you a message just shortly to find out what you want. So this starts week two of this giveaway. All you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below this very video and you will be entered into the giveaway. And if you are the winner, you get to choose anything from the Rift Store that you want. Anything. The only restriction is there are a few things that are outrageously high in credits, so... Let's keep it around the 5,000 credit mark or less and not go into the 50,000 credit mark ones. So leave a comment below with your character name and server and we will be giving you a prize if you win. The winner will be selected in our next Saturday video so make sure you tune into that. Good luck guys! I have to start off today's video by saying thank you to Veronica for the $10 donation. You rock! You absolutely rock. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's up guys? Today is the Inquisitor build video that I've been promising. So let's jump right into this. And I had some help with this build from Paisley Park, which is an amazing... Uh, shaman player and he also plays inquisitor some and he's also a crew that helped me with the assassin build so he's been super helpful and i cannot thank you enough at crew slash paisley park all right let's go right into this build and this is a variation that uh paisley gave me so you can modify as you want i may have several different variations of inquisitor builds down there because there is a a little bit more tanky one there's one that focuses a little more on the damage there's a lot of variations of inquisitor so we're just going to go with one of them which is uh pretty tanky and also very good at dishing out lots of dps if you're not familiar with inquisitor it's a range class with cleric that is extremely good because it does so much damage has tons of cc's has lots of survivability it's just an all-around amazing spec and it's really hard to get used to any other range spec once you've played this because this one's so good all right so let's go right into this it's 61 inquisitor seven just car and eight oracle so the seven points in just car is five points into stronghold and two points into armor of virtue and if you would like to have a link of this build so it's easier for you to see and you don't have to squint at the screen, just check out in the description below this video. We got lots of great links down there, including how to gear up your fresh level 60, how to make Rift run better. All my builds are down there and there will be a link to this build uh, a little bit further down with all the macros and everything. All right, in Oracle, we've got five points into Confident and three points into War Mentality. All right, guys, let's get into the macros now. Uh, I've read a lot of guides and watched videos and people have said, don't macro stuff together in Inquisitor. And I think that's a terrible, terrible idea because there are several things that do work well together in Inquisitor and it's not like PvE where you know a rotation and you put everything on a different button and you just go down the line, that kind of thing. In PvP, it's absolute chaos at times. And you've got to worry about your movement so much more and all of that. So having less buttons is usually a good thing as long as you don't compromise your effectiveness too much. And take for instance this spam macro here is absolutely perfect in the abilities working together now whenever you're playing inquisitor your main attack is going to be bolt of judgment 
and whenever you're casting bolt of judgment it'll build up stacks to where it procs an instant cast of bolt of depravity so most people have a second button that they go ahead and hit bolt of depravity once it procs well there's no reason not to put it in the macro because if you put bolt of depravity above bolt of judgment then once it procs it'll fire off and not your bolt of judgment so it'll use the proc every time it's up there's no reason not to have it in a macro so and also put bolt of retribution in this macro so that whenever you get the two stacks of I think it's like echoing concord or something i may be off on the proc there but once you get two stacks of it it's good to stop and cast bolt of retribution because the cast time of it will be reduced and it does more damage than the other bolts so it's pretty good to use whenever you get the procs for it but if you do not have the procs that make it reduce cast time then you really don't want to cast it you want to keep moving and keep firing off your bolt of judgment and bolt of depravities. So that's our spam macro there. And like I said, all the macros will be in the description below. So if you want to just copy and paste, and if you're using a browser that does not allow you to copy and paste the description below, then I'm sorry, you know, I can't uh, send the macros to each individual. All right, this is our second macro here. Now this mainly centers around uh, Nisser's Rebuke, but uh, Aggressive Renewal is a very good spell as well. Alright, so how this works here is Aggressive Renewal does so much damage in 3 seconds. It's a channeled ability. Okay, the same thing is what Nisser's Rebuke does, but it does a lot more damage. So what this macro does is it fires off aggressive renewal where you'll cast on something for 3 seconds, do a lot of damage, and then it'll pop fanaticism. And let me show you exactly what fanaticism is real fast. Fanaticism forces the next damaging life or death spell to critically hit. So it's going to fire off and make Nisser's Rebuke critical hit. And that's going to be your harder hitting ability of the two. So it'll basically be six seconds of a lot of damage is going to be happening. So this is basically your burst right here. And then I've got another button just for AOE because Soul Drain is a pretty good uh, multi-target hitting ability. So... I, I like to cast that off first and then do a circle of oblivion and that's an AOE where it's going to hit a lot of people in a certain area. So you, you don't have to macro them, them together because it's kind of wishy-washy on which one you want to cast at certain times. I macro them together but you don't have to. It's your choice. Alright, let's get into the buffs here. We got spiritual scrutiny. We got armor of awakening spiritual protection shroud of agony boon of vitality inspiration of battle and of course your guild or planner buffs all right let's go into our action bars down here we've got our spam macro we've got our burst macro which i have showing aggressive renewal we have purge which purge is so important because it it, it removes two buffs off of the enemy which is pretty much an assassin destroyer because assassins usually have about I don't know like four buffs and three of them are their poisons so if you purge them it's going to remove at least one of those poisons possibly two and since most of their damage is done by their poisons you're going to absolutely cripple any assassin that you purge and for any assassin that says, uh, I'll just watch my buffs and reapply my poisons if you purge me. BS. Because, first off, once you're purged, it takes two global cooldowns to reapply those poisons. All the while, I'm going to be destroying you with all of my bursts, CCs, everything else that's going to be happening. And then once you get them up, which it takes three, four seconds to get those uh, buffs back up, you've only got a six second 
time frame before I purge you again because this is up every 10 seconds. So, yeah. BS on anybody that says they'll just reapply their poisons. What you're going to do is you're going to have to run away, hope I don't chase you, and reapply your poisons and come back to the fight and then I'll purge you again. But here is a very important ability here called Radical Coalescence. I believe I said it right. So this is a two minute cooldown and what it does is it resets the cooldowns on all of your Inquisitor abilities. So this will make it to where you can do your burst macro twice. If you hit your uh, aggressive renewal uh, macro here and then it casts Nisser's Rebuke and you do a ton of damage to somebody but they don't die, you can pop Radical Coalescence and it'll allow you to do the burst macro again, which is so amazing. You know, being able to do the burst macro twice is just crazy. But even more crazy is this next ability called Judicial Privilege. And what this does is it's mainly your getaway or heal button because it's going to add five stacks of Judicial Privilege to you and each stack adds 10% movement speed. And every time you're hit, it removes one stack and restores 10% of your health. So you can get healed up for 50% of your health here, as well as having a movement speed increase. Well, once the stacks are gone, you think you're going to die? No, because you can pop Radical Coalescence and use it again. So that means that you will have 100% health you know, uh, restoration there. So it's absolutely insane. All right, this is our debuff here called Spiritual Deficiency. And this is going to make our spells and everything hit the target a little bit harder, which is 7%. That's nothing to sneeze at there. And then we have Wasting Insignia, which is from the Oracle Tree. And this, it applies a dot on somebody that hits them for about 9,500 damage. But most important, it applies your inspiration of battle which will increase your attack power and spell power by 225 and increases your critical hit chance by one percent on all party or raid members so basically it's going to increase your damage a lot so that's usually the first uh dot that i put on people the second dot that I put on is our hardest hitting dot, which is Scourge, and it hits for almost 20,000 damage over 15 seconds, which is pretty awesome. Um, another dot that a lot of people like to use, I don't use as much because I don't like to just constantly dot manage people, but a lot of people do like having this third dot, and it is Vex, which hits for quite a bit as well, 12,000 damage over 15 seconds. And then we have our Hammer of Duty here, which it consumes convictions and does so much damage according to how many stacks of conviction you have. You can have up to four stacks, I believe, so it'll hit for, you know, four or five thousand damage, which is pretty good. Uh, we have our Break Free here, of course, on a separate button. Confound, which is our Interrupt. Use it often, guys. If you see somebody casting on you, then use that interrupt and completely just take care of those uh, physicians. You, everybody complains about physicians out there, but so many of them are out there using causal treatment, which is a cast time heal. It, wear these people out with these interrupts and stuff. Uh, you just interrupt them once, it may cause their party members to die. So, yeah. Also, we have Bewilder, which confuses the target for three seconds. Awesome ability here. Another CC. All right. Then we have Trepidation, which it fears all nearby enemies for eight seconds or until damaged. AoE CC. Amazing. All right. Then we have our AoE uh, damage spell here, which I have it showing Soul Drain. And then we have Excommunicate, which is, it knocks back the enemy. So you've got so much CC here, it's awesome. Absolutely awesome. I love CCs in my builds. I like skilled gameplay. I want to be able to control the enemies while I'm killing them. All right, let's get into how to play this build now. And there's mainly two things that we're going to be doing in this process. One is we're going to be applying our debuffs and dots. 
And then the second thing is going to whatever damaging abilities we want to do. So you want to keep at range almost at all times. The only times that you want to get in close is if uh, you see a lot of melee is on your healers and you need to peel them off. You can go in and hit your uh, trepidation here which is going to AOE fear everybody. And that's going to peel off of your healers and help you out a lot. Take care of your healers and they're going to take care of you. But basically we're going to go up, well, at range and apply our spiritual deficiency. And as you can see, it, it pops up at my feet right there because I have K alerts displaying all this. If you want to know how to set up K alerts and uh, exactly how I have it set up, I have a link to a video in the description below this video to where you can see how I set up my add-ons and do it the same way if you like. All right, so we apply our spiritual deficiency and then we're going to apply our two main dots, which is Wasting Insignia and Scourge. And that's going to apply a lot of damage onto the target, but it's also going to make Wasting Insignia bring up our Inspiration of Battle, which is going to make our spells hit harder because it increases our spell power in critical hit. So while I'm explaining all this, my dots and stuff are going to be falling off as well as my spiritual deficiency. So if things aren't hitting as hard as they should be, it's because I'm going to let all this drop while I'm explaining to you. So apply your debuff and your two main dots. If you want to use your third dot, which is Vex, you can. I usually don't use it even though it's a hard hitting dot because I don't really like just doing a lot of dot management. Usually once you've applied those three dots in your spiritual deficiency, the first dot is going to be wearing off not too long afterwards. So I like to go into my pure damage instead of applying a third dot. So say you've got your spiritual deficiency and all your dots up, well your two main ones. You want to start hitting your burst, uh, your spam macro. And it's going to be cast in Bolt of Judgment, and then every time Bolt of Depravity procs, it'll instant cast that as well. Well, something that you'll realize and you may want to keep track of is right up here, you'll see these stacks of Echoing Concord. And that makes it to where our Bolt of Judgments have a reduced cast time. So while you're running around spamming this uh, macro, you can have it to where uh, K alerts will keep track of your two stacks of Echo and Concord and you'll know that you can stop and cast Bolt of Retribution twice at a reduced cast time. Bolt of Retribution hits a little bit harder than your other uh, Bolt attacks so it's worth casting but you know you don't have to. You can just keep running around spamming this spam macro and don't worry about Bolt of Retribution if you don't want to. Um, Let's say that your target is getting low in life and you want to go ahead and use your burst macro. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to stop and cast your burst macro because it's channeled abilities. It's going to cast first your aggressive renewal and then Nisser's rebuke, which is going to hit for a lot of damage. Well, let's say that you've been spamming your damage, you hit the burst macro and they don't die, but they're really low in life. Well, you can of course go to your Radical Coalescence and it'll reset the cooldowns on all of your abilities, which makes it to where you do your Burst Macro a second time. You can do Burst Macro, Burst Macro, you know, like back to back, and it's going to be a ton of damage. So let's go ahead and hit the Radical and then go right back into our Burst Macro. And it'll hit even a lot more if we have all of our uh, debuffs and dots up because it's going to give us our inspiration of battle and all of that. So yeah, that's basically it. I mean, the, uh, the other thing that you can do is you can keep track of your uh, stacks of conviction. If you look up at my health bar at the top left up there, you'll see that just to the bottom right of it is a conviction... Uh, a meter so to say it, it keeps track of how many stacks of conviction you get and you can get up to four and once you have four you can cast your hammer of duty which is going to do a 35 meter attack 
and it'll hit pretty hard and it'll hit even harder once you have your debuffs and stuff as you can see it hit for you know just over 4,000 with no debuffs no dots nothing going on so pretty good hard hitting ability and you can use it as it comes up uh, as you get four stacks if you want uh, other than that it's about survivability make sure that you're using your AOE fear your uh, confuse and interrupt people you know you're, you're going to be a bane of any physician that you see I'll tell you that right now because you're going to be uh, debuffing them you're going to be uh, CCing them like crazy you're going to have dots running on them it's going to be absolutely a terrifying thing for most physicians to meet you so but if you start taking a lot of damage uh what you can do is uh pop your judicial privilege and that's going to give you a 50 percent run speed and also every time you're hit it'll heal you up for 10 percent of your max health so yeah that's going to be a lot of healing well let's say that your judicial privilege gets used up you're hit five times you healed up all that and then you're still taking a lot of damage if your radical coalescence is back up you can use that and then use another judicial privilege and you a hundred percent of your health is going to be healed up then so that's back-to-back -back judicial privileges if you want to and if you're wanting to do aoe damage then all you have to do is target somebody on the opposite team it doesn't matter who as long as they've got plenty of people around them that way that your aoe damage is going to hit lots and lots of people so we hit our AOE macro that I have and the first time that I hit it it's going to cast Soul Drain which is going to hit multiple people for quite a bit of damage and then the second time we hit it it's going to cast Circle of Oblivion which as you can see it's going to AOE everybody in that circle which is going to do a lot of damage and be very nice. So as you can see this build can be really easy to play it's just all about the two processes debuffs and dots and then damage you know and you can just spam your spam macro if you want and then go into burst whenever you feel like it it's up to you but i hope you guys found this build enjoyable and helpful and if you did make sure that you hit the like button because that always helps and make sure you're subscribed for future builds and all that and if you're looking for a guild we have a guild on wolfsbane us server which is called grim's reapers and we're a casual pvp guild uh, that likes to group up for war fronts and CQs and all that good stuff. So if you just want a friendly environment, feel free to join us. Uh, just don't join just to play with me because there's times that I'm not on for a day or two at a time. So yeah, you know, you'll be disappointed if you join just to play with me. As usual, my name is Grim and I will see you next time.